What up everyone, hope you all are doing well. This video is for the beginner triathletes wondering about what to wear and what gear is needed for your first triathlon. I'm gonna talk about number one, what to wear, AKA triathlon clothing. Number two, absolutely necessary pieces of gear. And number three, nice to have gear, which as you progress in your tri journey might actually become essential. Any product links will be in the description below. All right, let's get into it. So if you want to save money, I just recommend buying tri shorts to wear for the entire race and use an active dry fit top that you already own. This is what I did on my first triathlon. Sure, you can wear regular swim jammers or a bathing suit on the swim, but those aren't going to be as comfortable when used on the bike and run compared to using tri shorts on the bike and run. Tri shorts will cost less than an actual entire tri suit and they're meant to be worn for the entire race. They're made to quickly dry after the swim. For the bike, they have a little bit of cushion for your bottom and they're stretchy and comfortable to wear on the run as well. So back in 2013 at my first try, the only try specific clothing that I bought were try shorts for 70 bucks. And as a broke college student, I remember thinking, whoa, this is so expensive. I could buy so many Subway sandwiches with that money. Anyways, during that first race, after the swim, I put on a pair of old gym shorts over my tri shorts and threw on a dry fit shirt that I already had. I wore this for both the bike and run. Nowadays, I just use tri shorts and a tri top for the swim, bike, and run. I'd say if you have more money to spend, then I recommend getting the same tri shorts and a tri top combo or a full tri suit. Wearing these will definitely save you time in transition and make you more aero on the course. And you won't have to worry about bringing or wearing shorts or another shirt to wear during the race too. So you might also be thinking, what about a wetsuit? So the wetsuit is an optional piece of gear. If the water temperatures are below 78 degrees Fahrenheit, then the swim will be wetsuit legal. If you have the money to spend and the race temperatures are going to be less than 78 degrees Fahrenheit, I'd say go for it. Get the wetsuit as it'll make you more buoyant during the swim and keep you warm. But if you want to save money and don't mind the cold water swim too much, then an expensive wetsuit isn't really needed. Okay, for shoes and socks for the bike and run, if you want to save money, use your existing running shoes and socks. In my first triathlon during the swim, I dried off my feet and then put on my socks and running shoes, which I used on the bike and run. This is a great option for beginners. If you have the extra money and want to have a quicker finish time, I definitely recommend wearing bike shoes with a bike that has, of course, clipless pedals. Bike shoes and pedals are an entire topic in itself, so if you're interested in tips on that, comment down below. So now that we've covered what clothing to wear, Let's get into the absolutely necessary swim, bike, run specific gear. All right, so for the swim portion, you're gonna need, of course, a pair of goggles, and they don't have to be fancy at all. I've used the Speedo Vanquishers in all my races. I think they're about 21 bucks on Amazon. They do fog up after just a few uses, at least for me, so I always use anti-fog before using them. No need to bring a swim cap because your race should be providing them for you. For the bike portion, obviously, you're gonna need a bike. I have a couple of videos on bike buying for a beginner track athletes which I'll link up here and down below but basically you can use almost any kind of bike in a triathlon. This includes a road bike, a mountain bike, a cruiser, a single speed. I did my first three tries in a single speed bike that I bought off Amazon. My recommendation is if you are just starting out in the sport use an old bike that you already have or borrow a bike. Just make sure it's tuned up and safe to use. You can even rent a bike too, but make sure to practice on it so you're comfortable with its handling. If you don't want to use that old bike that's rusting with cobwebs in your garage, consider buying a used bike online from Craigslist, OfferUp, or local bike forums, or check out your local bike shop for some deals on older models. You don't need a super expensive bike to do a triathlon, but what you do need is a helmet. For the run portion, you'll only really need shoes and socks. Everything else from here, I'd say, are nice to haves. So for the nice to haves, the following pieces of gear are optional for beginner triathletes entering their first few races, but I actually bring all of these things to my races nowadays, so definitely consider them. To kick it off, we gotta mention anti-chafe solution. Body glide or tri-slide are both great. I've used them both before. Hopefully you find your chafing areas during training, but sometimes you gotta do your first race just to see where those pesky hot spots are. For the swim, I like to bring an extra pair of goggles. Don't be that person who left their goggles at home or lost them in transition or whose goggles accidentally snapped. Next is anti-fog. If your goggles fog easily like mine, you're definitely going to need some anti-fog as well. For the bike, it's always wise to bring a flat kit, you know, have tire levers, a spare inner tube, a CO2 cartridge. You can get away without bringing a flat kit technically, but it's a huge risk that if you do get a flat during the race, you're done. You're not gonna be able to finish, as opposed to being able to fix it during the race because you had a flat kit. 
energy gels. So I usually have these electric tape to my bike's top tube, along with the water bottle, of course, in the water bottle cage. Sunglasses, gotta have sunglasses for both the bike and run. And for the run, I usually have a hat or some kind of visor to go with the sunglasses. Also wear sunscreen, you know, you put that on at the beginning of the race, of course. I do recommend a race belt for your race bib. I have my race bib attached to my belt, so when I get off the bike, I can just grab the belt and put it on while running out of transition, along with my energy gels that I scooped up from my transition area. I keep my energy gels in the back of my uh, tri-tops pocket. Some nice to have for the transition area are a bright bandana or a net gaiter to tie around the rack where your bike is. When you get out of the swim, it can be pretty hard to find where your transition is amidst tons of bikes everywhere. But if you have something like this tied to the rack, you can just look for it immediately and find your place a little more quickly. Also consider bringing a bike pump. I like to top off my bike tires when setting up in transition before the race. If you do that too, try to see if the race will have bike pumps for general use. So you don't have to bring one. In my experience, not all races have bike pumps for general usage. Another option is to ask around and borrow someone else's pump. It's one extra thing to bring along with your big bag of tri gear, but in local races, I've gotten in the habit of bringing my own pump. So that's what works for me. And if someone else needs a pump, you can always do a, a nice little deed and lend it to somebody for uh, to help them out on race morning. Last but not least, it's definitely not necessary for your first race, but I always have my Garmin watch and heart rate monitor to track my pacing and heart rate. All right, so as you can see in triathlon, you usually start with a few pieces of necessary gear, then work your way up to other things as you progress in the sport. Comment down below your favorite gear suggestions or if I missed anything, but remember, don't get caught up in the gear. You don't have to buy the most expensive bikes, gear, shoes, etc just to get started in triathlon. Try to use what you already have, borrow or buy things on sale, and more importantly, just get out there to swim, bike, run, and have fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, throw a thumbs up down there with the like button, high five that subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.